Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you an update on my roses. It's been a few days since I've been out here to look at the roses and it's looking really, really nice. I hope you guys enjoy this video. So I wanted to give you guys an overview of what the roses looks like right now. We had a couple of days that are really warm so the flowers have really um, exploded with blooms here. This is candy cane. Look at all the flowers on candy cane. It's just beautiful. Look at these. And then next to candy cane is Olivia Rose. Olivia Rose has also started to bloom more. There's some more Olivia Rose. And then next to Olivia Rose is, of course, Darcy Bustle. Here's Olivia Rose right next to Darcy Bustle. Isn't that a beautiful combination right there? Red and pink. So Darcy Bustle has a few blooms here. And next to Darcy Bustle right here, this is another Darcy Bustle. Here's a cluster of Golden Celebration. So Golden Celebration really exploded in the days that I wasn't here. It's produced quite a few flowers. So I'm going to go around here, take a look at some more. So we had quite a nice warm day today and the roses like that. Look at all these. Look at all the golden celebration. It's just beautiful. Here's some more. Right there. And then as I'm going through here, I did notice that Queen of Sweden looks good too with all this bloom. See here. Some more Queen of Sweden. Beautiful. And then down below over here, I have Princess Alexander of Kent. Still looking really nice. Still has a few more uh, buds here that will be opening in a few days. So I'll give you more update on that. But this is such a beautiful rose right here. Princess Alexandra of Kent. And I wanted to kind of go back over here because we didn't look at... Mr. Lincoln. So it's so hot today. I think Mr. Lincoln got burned. Um, this is a very fragrant rose. I love this rose. Mr. Lincoln. Here we go. Beautiful. So we're going to go this direction. So we've seen Princess Alexander of Kent. We've seen the Queen of Sweden and we're going to take a look at the Onwick Rose because the Onwick Rose is performing really well. It's got a lot of blooms. Look at this. Beautiful. And this, this cluster right here is going to bloom in a few days. Just imagine what this is going to look like when they all open together. Look at this. Gorgeous. And then I'm going to stop right here so we can take a look at Life of the Party, which is a wheat rose. It also has started to bloom. You can see some more blooms right here. And then we're going to go around all and stop right here. We're going to stop right here and look at Bathsheba. And then we're going to look at sceptered isle. Beautiful. Put this some more sceptered isle. And the next one that we're going to look at is Jude the Obscure. Right there. So pretty. And next to Jude the Obscure is 
beautiful pink Bosca Bell. And this one right here is Carding Mill. Carding Mill has produced several blooms within the last few days. It's such a beautiful rose. Pretty orange rose. And then I wanted to show you Munstead Wood because Munstead Wood is still blooming. This is kind of what typical Munstead Wood color before they turn a little bit lighter. See this one's a little older rose right here. And you can see the difference. It's beautiful though. And then down below is another Munstead Wood right here. So Munstead Wood has performed really well the second time around. Such a beautiful rose. Got a few more buds here. They'll be coming in a few days. Okay. And then Charlotte is also blooming. Here's Charlotte right here. And Charlotte has a few more right here. And right here. Gorgeous. So we're going to walk over to the um, roses that are in the field. But while we're walking by, I wanted to kind of give you a glimpse of some of the dahlias right here. And what I wanted to show you is my beautiful Cafe Olate. I have four blooms. Look at this. Just beautiful. Look at these. Just gorgeous. So my field of roses are on this side. Here's some, some more dahlias here. This is Rebecca Lynn. And this huge dinner plate dahlia. And here are the roses out in the field. I have Barbara Streisand. I wanted to show you Barbara Streisand is doing really well. We had a really warm day, so it kind of burned some of the roses, but look how beautiful that is. And here's some more Barbara Streisand. This is a very fragrant rose. Here's some more. So I'm going to keep an eye on those because they're going to open. And then down here, this rose right here, I don't have a name for it. But it is blooming too. And then I believe this one right here is Intrigue. And here's some more right here. Some of these I don't have a name. And then back here, this is my purple tiger. My purple tiger has started to bloom. And this is a week's rose. I'm going to show you the label right there. Just a beautiful rose right here. So I'm going to walk back because I forgot to show you Violet's Pride. So we're going to walk back to the dahlias because it's right next to the fountain. So we're going to walk back to the fountain over here. <coughs> You see some more dahlias here that look so gorgeous. So this is Violet's Pride. Violet's Pride is starting to bloom also. It's got all these buds. But I'm always excited to see Violet's Pride start to bloom because when they bloom, they're kind of like non-stop blooming. Look at all these buds. Really nice. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.